Hello, friends. So today what we're going to be talking about is recursive versus iterative. Um, I had made a video about recursive programming, an introduction to that a couple of days ago, and I got a couple of questions of the difference between recursive and iterative. So I'll take the same problem, which is basically the factorial problem, and I'll do it both ways to give you an example. So let's say we pass in a number five. What we want our method to do is return the product of 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 uh, times 5. So we want our endpoint to be the number that we pass in and multiply it by all numbers up until that point. So if we pass in 60, we want the factorial of 1 times 2 times 3 times 4 times 5 all the way up to 60. So let's build out that method. I'll do it the first time with the iterative, with the iterative way that you would build it. So let's just do def, and we'll just call it factorial. We'll pass in that number. We'll end it. And then what we'll need is to set up an array. So array equals, we'll just pass in a range of 1 dot dot, num, 1 to number, minus 1. The minus 1 is because arrays are at a 0 index. So to take care of that, 2a. So there are different ways to make arrays, to populate arrays with a specific range. This is, a, this is an easy way this will work. But you could do it in a couple other ways. Um, but we'll just do it this way. And then we'll make a product is equal to 1. And we'll start that at 1. So what we want to do is go through every element in the array and then multiply it by the product. So what we'll do is go 4i in r. That gives us all the elements in the array. Product will equal product times there will be i times, or i, uh, sorry, plus 1. And then we'll just return the product. So down here we can just p factorial, and we'll just pass in a number of 5 to keep it easy. And it gives us 120, which is the right answer. So we give it 6. And it gives a 720, which is also the right answer. So that's how you do it iter iteratively. You iterate over each element in the array, and then you have a ticker that you add one to each time that will that will move the move the array uh, along. So that will change the element that you're multiplying by. So that's iteratively. Let's do it fa uh, re recursively. So we would do the same thing, factorial pass in that same number. Right here we'll have a test. If number is less than or equal to 1, then we'll just return the number. Else, and this is where the recursive element comes in, we'll do, we'll do number times, and then we'll call factorial again. And this time, we'll do number minus 1. In, and then we end that. So let's call it again. Factorial, let's pass in the 5, see that, and it gives us 120, which is the right number. 6, and it gives us 720. So if we um, uncomment both of these, we have them both at 6, they should both give us 720, and they both do. So that's, how, that's the difference between doing something iteratively versus uh, recursively. This is recursive. Recursive is just calling the method in itself and then breaking it down into smaller and smaller bits until you fail this test of uh, number being less than 1. Iteratively is giving it a range and then iterating over each element in that range to return a product. So you're increasing here, decreasing here. So I hope that helped.